just when you thought it had calmed down and there was peace in the world of Korean entertainment. A post by Han So Hee brought back the transit relationship saga back to her head. She posted and subsequently deleted a lengthy post on Instagram detailing her frustration and worries about what had transpired since her dating news had been released. Be warned, this post was long, very long, so I'll do my best to summarise the key points. She started by saying the groundless speculation was wearing her out, and at the age of 30, can't be considered young anymore, while emphasising that she had started dating after meeting Ryu jun Yul in November 2023, and had not met him before this time. She continued by stating she felt this relationship was needed in her life and had no intention of disrespecting his former lover, who we all know to be Hiri. She knows that Hiri and Junyul broke up last year and did so amicably while wishing each other good health and happiness. And so he was confused as to why Hiri would post an apology, but reiterated that even if Hiri was to meet him in November last year, it was not to rekindle their relationship. She also stated that she would accept any comments if her statements were false and also asked if Hiri would contact her as she had tried to contact Hiri and failed. She continued by saying she was frustrated that one person involved was maintaining their silence and seeing as how both Hiri and Junyul have kept mainly silent, more so Junyul, it's hard to ascertain who she actually means. The actress reiterated it was not a transit relationship and the word she is writing is based on facts and not personal emotions, while also relaying she wished to protect her fans and company who may be suffering from the fallout. She then summarised her previous point by claiming that Hiri had broken up long before the news of their breakup was revealed in November, and was frustrated that netizens were believing speculative articles and not factual articles about her relationship. She made a point about how some despicable netizens were targeting her loved ones, as well as her upbringing and other aspects of her life. She once again apologised to Yeri and her fans, and relayed that she apologises for the mistake she makes, while also immediately asking why she, with the assumption it is Yeri, would post an ambiguous message with apparent feelings of regret. She followed on by relaying her curiosity about why people seem to hate her, especially after she returned from Hawaii with the reporters waiting for her in the cold, as well as showing sympathy for her agency staff. She ended by stating she made this post after deciding she could not just sit in silence. She again stated it was not a transit relationship, as well as apologising again for her response, while finishing the post by asking if there is anything more she has to apologise for. Wow, that was a lot. And to top it off, she soon deleted this post and wrote, I'm sorry, my personality can be rather rash. A post which she also seems to have deleted. As someone looking in from the outside, you can't help but feel sorry for all involved. Especially because of the toxic nature of Korean entertainment and some of its netizens. Fan reaction was again mixed and somewhat sympathised with her. While unanimously agreeing, it was not the right call to post this. Even if she did later delete the post. What are your thoughts on this ongoing situation? And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. And as always, thanks for watching.